Before starting our topic, first we discuss about what is the matrix and what are its properties. Matrix introduction. Matrix is actually first time used in by used in 18th century James Joseph Sarvester. And in mathematical form, it is first time used by Arthur Kelly. What is the matrix? A rectangular array of n by n numbers that may be real or complex in the form of n horizontal lines called rows and n vertical lines called columns is called a matrix of order m by n, written as m by n matrix. Such an array is enclosed by capital bracket or small bracket. What is the general form of a matrix? General form of a matrix, a matrix is denoted by bold capital letters and the elements within the matrix are denoted by lowercase letters. For example, a matrix is denoted by capital bracket with elements A, I, J, where I is row and J is column. We have generally written general form of this matrix. In it has m rows and n columns. If there are m rows and n columns, the matrix is said to be an m by n matrix written by m by n matrix. For example, first example is a matrix of three by three order. Second example is a matrix of uh, two by four order, and third example is a matrix of one by two order. Types of matrix. Column matrix. First type is column matrix or vector. As given by the name column matrix. A matrix is said to be column matrix if it has only one column and many rows. Means it, it, it will be only and only single column and rows are many. Then that time the then the dimension of column matrix is m by n. For example, one this is the column matrix. It has only one column, three rows. Second example, this is the column matrix. It has two rows and one column. Second, third example, it has one column and m rows. Row matrix. The matrix is said to be row matrix if it has only one row and many columns. That dimension of the row matrix is. 1 by n. That means it has only one row and columns are main. For example, first example is in the its dimension is 1 by 6. That means it has one row and six columns. Second example is one row and third column. And third, third example is one row and fourth column. Rectangular matrix. As clear by the name rectangular matrix, that means whose dimensions are different. In most, most probably we talk about the rectangle, it has different sides. Its parallel sides are equal. That means the matrix is said to be rectangular matrix if it is contains more than one element and number of rows is not equal to the number of columns. That means M is not equal to N. For example, example one is it has four rows and Two columns. That means we can say that the rows and columns are not equal. So this is a rectangular matrix. Second example, it has two rows and fifth columns. That means we can say that row and columns are not equal. So this is, uh, these are called rectangular matrix. Fourth is a square matrix. A matrix is said to be square if the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. That is Number of rows equals to number of columns. As given by the then square matrix whose dimensions are equal. So for example, first is the matrix of two by two order, and second example is the matrix of three by three order. The principle of main diagonal of a square matrix is, is composed of all elements a i j4, which i equals to j. 
फिफ्थ डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स ए स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स इज सेट टू बी डायगोनल इफ ऑल द एलिमेंट्स आर जीरो एक्सेप्ट दोस ऑन द मैन डायगोनल दैट इज ए आई जे इक्वल्स टू जीरो फोर और आई इक्वल्स टू जे दैट इज ए आई जे इक्वल्स टू जीरो फोर सम आई इक्वल्स टू जे दैट मीन्स बाई द डेफिनेशन इट इज क्लियरली दैट द मैन डायगोनल एलिमेंट can be maybe maybe all may be zero or not zero but rest all element except the diagonal will be zero for example example one is it has principal diagonal is one two one and rest elements are zero example two in the main diagonal the elements are three three five nine and rest all elements are zero so this is called diagonal matrix It is strictly conditioned to be a diagonal matrix that it should be a square matrix, unit or identity matrix, as given by the name unit or identity matrix. A diagonal matrix with ones on the main diagonal clearly comes up. That means if in its diagonal all elements should be one, and condition is that it should be a square matrix. That means A I J equals to zero, four I J equals to J, and all A I J equals to one, four all I equals to J. That means all the diagonal elements are one except main diagonal. All the except all the elements are sorry, all the elements are one except other elements are zero. Second example. It has one and one to the identity matrix of order two by two, and it has all elements are zero except main diagonal. The first matrix is the order of four by four, and second matrix is the order of two by two. Null matrix. What is the null matrix? As in a null matrix, then a matrix whose all elements are zero. That may in the form of rectangular, that may in the form of square, that may in the form of row of columns. That means all elements will be zero in the matrix. For example, one and two. Example one is the matrix as it has all zero entries. Example two, it has the matrix as it has it has all zero entries. Triangular matrix. Triangular matrix is square matrix whose elements Above or below the main diagonal or zero is called triangular matrix. That means below and above the main diagonal elements will be zero. For example, one. In example one, all the elements below the below the main diagonal are zero, and in example two, all the elements above the main diagonal are zero. So these are the example of triangular matrix. Now the triangular matrix is a two type of the form. First is upper triangular form. What is the upper triangular form? A square matrix whose elements below the main diagonal are zero. That is, the is equals to zero for all i greater than j is called upper triangular matrix. In our first example, we can say that all the elements in principal diagonal below the principal diagonal diagonal are zero. And in the second example, which is the order of four by four, all the elements below the main diagonal are zero. So this is the example of upper triangular matrix. Second is lower triangular matrix. A square matrix whose elements above the main diagonal are zero. That is, A is equal to zero for all i is less than j is called upper triangular matrix. That means In this matrix, all elements above the principal diagonal will be zero. For example, one. All the elements are zero from above the main diagonal. In example two, all the elements are zero above the main diagonal. Scalar matrix. Next is scalar matrix. A square matrix is said to be scalar matrix if main diagonal elements are equal to the same scalar. That is, A I J equals to four or A I equals to J, and A I J equals to K for all I equals to J. A scalar is defined as a single number of constant. 
we can clear it is by the example that means in the scalar matrix all the diagonal elements are the same and rest all are zero in example one all elements are one this is this may be called as identity matrix of three by three order in example two this is a scalar matrix as it has six 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 in band diagonal and rest all are zero now we are next uh, coming on the topic matrix operations what are the matrix of operations how we can apply this on our next slide we are discussing it first is the quality of two matrix as we generally add two numbers in two numbers we can subtract two numbers as like we can add two matrix to sub to sub subtract two matrix we can equal two matrix so first is equality of two matrix what is the equality of condition of two equality of two matrix? Two matrix can be equal if and only if their order is same and their corresponding element is same. That means we have taken two examples a equals to 1, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 5, 2, 3. And example, second example b 1, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, and 5, 2, 3. We are seeing that these two matrix are equal because their order is same. And their corresponding elements are same. So these two matrix are equal matrix. That means two matrix can be equal and equal only if their order is same and their corresponding elements are same. Next is addition and subtraction of matrices. How we can add two matrix, how we can subtract two matrix. Two matrix can be added and two matrix can be subtracted if their order is same. If their order is strictly condition that two matrix can be added or subtracted if their order is same, otherwise you not. Know. For example, if we have taken two examples, two matrix 7, 3, minus 7, 2, minus 5, and 6, plus second matrix 1, 5, 6, and minus 4, minus 2, minus, minus 4, minus 2, and 3, plus 2. Now we add corresponding elements like 7 plus 1, 3 plus 5, minus 1 plus 6, and we will get the final matrix 8, 8, 5, minus 2, minus 7, minus 10. So to, to add the matrix, we will add the corresponding elements of four, four matrix. And if you want to subtract the matrix, we will subtract the corresponding elements of the matrix. Now next is a scalar multiplication of the matrix. What is the scalar multiplication? A scalar multiplication of the matrix is that means if you multiply a matrix by a long number, that means we will multiply the whole elements of that matrix. By definition, matrix can be multiplied by a scalar constant or single element that k is scalar quantity than k equals to a k. For example, we have taken matrix a equals to which is the order of 3 by 2, so 4 by 2. For the order, and we are multiplying here the whole matrix A by 4. Then we will have multiplied each element of the matrix. We have multiplied 4, that means we, we get 12 minus 4, 8, 4, 8 minus 2, 16, and 4. The scalar properties of matrix. What are the scalar properties of matrix? First property is k a plus b equals to k a plus k a but where here k is a scalar number that is non-zero second is k plus g bracket a equals to k a plus g third is k bracket a b equals to k a bracket a b k a bracket b equals to a bracket k b fourth is k bracket g a equals to k g bracket a where k and g are non zero numbers. That means multiplication of matrices. The product of the matrix is another matrix. That means we are, we are we want to say that if we multiply two matrices, then its product, their product is also a matrix. Two matrix can be multiplied even only if the number of columns of first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Otherwise, no. For example, we have 
In example, what we have taken first matrix A matrix is order one by three, and second matrix is order three by one. We are seeing that in first matrix A, in example one, its column is three, and in in matrix B, its row is three. That means their multiplication is possible, and the required matrix after multiplication would be C, whose order is one by one. In second example, suppose that the order of the A matrix is 2 by 3 and order of the B matrix is 3 by 2. We are seeing that in first matrix, in the in first matrix, the column is 3, and in second matrix B, the, the row is 3. Then that means their multiplication is possible, and the required multiplication matrix is 2 by 2 order. In third example, we are seeing that B is order of 2 by 1 and A is order of 4 by 2. We are seeing that in matrix B, the number of rows is sorry, number of column is one, and in matrix A, the number of rows is four. That means mm, they are not we cannot multiply. So it is not possible. Multiplication of two matrix, that means how we can multiply the matrix to each other. If you are taking two examples, two general matrix, suppose that first matrix is A1, A11, A21, A22, A22, A13, A23, and second matrix is B1, 1, B21, B31, B1, B2, 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 B2. We are we want to multiply these two matrix. Now we will multiply row by column. That means we will we will put first row of first column. So first row of First matrix A and first column of matrix B, and we will multiply corresponding element. We will get C11. As like when we want to C12, we will get first row of the matrix A and the second column of the matrix B. As like we can, we can calculate all the rest elements in C21 and C22. Example, we are clearing this example, clearing this. By an example, we have taken two matrix. First is one, two, three, and four, two, seven. Second is second matrix, four, eight, six, two, five, three. We want to multiply. That means we will put up the first row of the first matrix and first column of the first column of the second matrix. And we multiply corresponding elements to get the first number of the multiplicative matrix. As like we will we want to get the second element of the second element of the multi multiplied matrix. We will multiply first row of the first matrix and the second column of the second matrix. We will get as like this 31, 20, 21, 63, and 50, 57. Next is Assuming that a matrix A, B, C are conformal for the operation indicated the following R2. First is A I equals to I A equals to A. That means we are multiplying by a matrix by its identity matrix, then it would be equals to itself. Second is A bracket B C equals to bracket A B C equals to A B C. Associative log by whole per time. Third is A. Bracket B plus C equals to AB plus AC. First to distribute the norm. Fourth is bracket A plus B multiplied, multiplied by C equals to AC plus BC. Second to distribute law. Here, here are some causes. First is AB is not generally equal to BA. As we are seeing that 4, 4 into 5 equals to 5 into 4. But in matrix, it is not generally equals to BA equals to AB. Second, if A B equals to zero, it is not necessary that necessary that A B and B A both are zero. It is not necessary that will be zero that may be non-zero. Third is if A B equals to A C, that means B not necessary equals to C. A B not generally equals to B A. B A may not be conformal. To clear this. To clear in this, we are taking the example. First, I suppose P equals to a matrix 1, 2, 5, 0, and S equals to a matrix 3, 4, 0, 2. We have multiplied P and S. That is, S equals to, we are getting 3, 
8, 15, 20. And now when we multiply ST matrix, we can get we are getting 23, 6, and 10, and 0. We are seeing that TS and ST both are not the equal. That means we can say that T, TS equals T is not TS is not equal to ST. That means they are not conformal. Second is if AB equals to 0, either A or not B necessarily 0. That means if if the product of the two matrix is zero, it is not necessarily that both matrix are zero. Maybe zero may not be zero. A and B are clearing this by an example. First matrix is one, one, zero, zero, and second, two, three, minus two, minus three. When we multiply the two matrix, we are getting zero, zero, zero. That means neither A is zero nor B is zero. Transpose of a matrix. Transpose of a matrix means if we interchange the row and column of a matrix, we are get we will get transpose of the matrix. For, for this, we are taking for the for this we are taking an example. And suppose a matrix A equals to 2, 4, 7, 5, 3, 1. Then the transpose of A denoted by A transpose is 2, 5, 4, 3, 7, 1. That means if we want to Find the transpose of a matrix, we will convert its position into row into column or column into row. To transpose interchange row and columns, the dimension of a transpose are reverse of the dimension of the original matrix. In example one, suppose that A equals 2, 4, 7, 5, 3, 1. This is the matrix of 2 by 3 order and the transpose matrix is 2, 5, 4, 3, 7, 1. It is the matrix of 3 by 2 order. It transpose matrix order is 3 by 2 and this order matrix order is 2 by 3. Properties of transpose matrix. Properties of transpose matrix. First property is A plus B2 power whole transpose A2, A2, A transpose plus B transpose. Second property a B transpose equals to B transpose A transpose. Clearly, A B transpose is not is not equals to A transpose B transpose. It is equals to B transpose A transpose. That is K A transpose equals to K A transpose. That means here K is a scalar quantity. For this, the transpose of a transpose matrix is itself that matrix. We are claiming it to by plus if a plus b the whole transpose it is equals to a transpose plus b transpose by an example. We have get two examples, two matrix A and B. And we add them a plus b equals to a 10 by minus 2 minus 7 9. Now we are transpose this matrix a plus b transpose equals to 8 minus 2, 8 minus 7, 5, 9. Now again we are adding a transpose plus we transpose and we are getting 8 minus 2, 8 minus 7, 5, 9. We are seeing that <clears throat> A plus B to the power whole transpose is equals to A transpose plus B transpose. Second property, A B transpose equals to B transpose A transpose. We can fill in this that by an example. Third is symmetric matrix. What is the symmetric matrix? A symmetric matrix is square matrix that is equal to transpose of itself. If A is symmetric matrix, then it satisfies the condition A equals to A transpose. That means if a matrix is equal to its transpose matrix, then that matrix is called symmetric matrix. Suppose we have take, taken an example. A equals to required matrix 9, 2, 3, 2, minus 1, minus 8, and 3, minus 8, 0. And now we are transposing this matrix. We are again getting the same matrix. So we can say that this is the symmetric matrix. Is Q symmetric matrix? The matrix can be is Q symmetric matrix if it is a square. If the transpose of a matrix is equal to the negative of itself. The matrix is said to be skew symmetric matrix. This means that for the matrix to be square symmetric, skew symmetric matrix, the matrix should be equal to the negative sign to its transpose. 
also know the matrix A J I equals to A I H. That means all the elements of principal diagonal in between zero points is matrix matrix. For an example, B equals to the matrix zero two four minus two zero three minus four minus three minus four minus three and zero. Now we are transposing the of B. We are getting zero minus two minus four two minus two zero minus three and four three zero. If we are raising the minus sign before we transpose, we will get the original matrix. Then we can say that this is the excuse matrix matrix. Next is Hermitian matrix. Hermitian matrix. A square matrix that may be linear or complex is said to be Hermitian matrix. If A H equals to A or A I G equals to A J, where A H is conjugate of conjugate transpose of A, that means to calculate to check whether matrix is Hermitian matrix or not. First, we will calculate its conjugate transpose. By by an example, we have taken an example. Suppose A is a matrix three three plus i three minus i and two, and its conjugate is three three minus i three plus i two three plus two. Now we are seeing that it is equal to its transpose matrix. When we are transposing the conjugate matrix, we are seeing that A equals to A trans A equals to A transpose. Conjugate of its transpose matrix. Is symmetric matrix? Is symmetric matrix a square matrix that may be complex or real is set of the Hermitian matrix? If a, a if a conjugate transpose equals to minus a or a i j equals to minus a j i, where a as is conjugate of the transpose of A. We can understand it by clearly example. Example of a specific matrix matrix. Suppose A is a matrix and we are transposing this matrix. We, we are clearing this by example. We have taken an example A, then we transpose that matrix. Again, we have conjugate of that matrix, that matrix, transpose matrix. We are getting its original matrix with its negative sign, and it suggests all main principal and diagonal elements are zero. So we, we can say that this is the symmetric matrix. Thank you.